Once there was a beautiful little princess called Princess Polly. She lived in a magical kingdom a long way from here. Princess Polly liked to watch fairies dance. She liked to row on magical fairy lakes. She liked to make things with jewels and fairy glitter. Princess Polly had a problem. She had a rain cloud that kept bothering her. It hung around her head and whenever she moved the rain cloud followed her. It wasn't there all the time, but when it came, Princess Polly would feel horrible and wobbly inside. Sometimes she would scream and shout to try and make the rain cloud go away. But that just made it bigger. Sometimes she would run really, really fast, and that would work for a little bit. But then the rain cloud would catch up with her, and the wind that whistled through it when it zipped along made it even bigger. Now, rain clouds had always travelled Princess Polly. But when she was very little, Mummy and Daddy were able to make them get smaller and easier to manage. However, one day the rain cloud appeared and it was really big and black. Ah! screamed Princess Polly. She felt panicked. And that's when it happened. Princess Polly's parents, King Archibald and Queen Carolina, looked at the rain cloud and they panicked too. They thought, it's too big, it's too dark, we'll never get her out. They didn't realise that Princess Polly was watching them carefully. Princess Polly knew what they were thinking and she thought, that's it. If Mummy and Daddy don't know what to do, it's over. The rain cloud will beat me. And all her panicked thoughts came out of her like steam and the rain cloud grew bigger and bigger. From then on, every time King Archibald or Queen Carolina felt a bit nervous about the rain cloud, steam would come out of Princess Polly's ears, which made the rain cloud go bigger and bigger. Princess Polly tried running faster and faster to get out from under the cloud, but the faster she ran, the bigger it was when it caught up with her. She tried screaming louder and louder, but though this made the rain cloud shake, it stayed right where it was, above her head. Queen Carolina and King Archibald decided enough was enough and they needed to get some help. So they decided to visit Fairy Willow Shimmer. They'd heard that she'd help other princesses and princes shift rain clouds. They had to travel a long way to get there, which they did in their unicorn-drawn carriage. Fairy Willow Shimmer explained that everyone actually gets a cloud sometimes, and a little cloud can be helpful to protect us from the sun. She said that Princess Polly's clouds were way too big and much too dark. She said that she would help. What Princess Polly really wanted was a spell to make the cloud go away and never come back. Fairy Willow Shimmer explained that while she had lots of ingredients, there was no spell that would stop the cloud from coming at all. And that was because a tiny cloud can actually be good for you. Fairy Willow Shimmer explained that every prince and princess was different, so that she'd need to experiment with some different spells to find out the ones that worked best on Princess Polly's clouds. The Queen, King and Princess made lots of journeys through the clouds by the unicorn-drawn carriage while they experimented with different spells. Fairy Willow Shimmer noticed that Queen Carolina and King Archibald were actually pretty good with the magic wand themselves. She also noticed that while her magic spells worked quite well while Princess Polly was visiting her, Princess Polly needed something more. She needed spells that she could take away with her. She needed to have them ready mixed as soon as the cloud appeared and while it was still quite small. So Fairy Willow Shimmer gave the king and queen a magic wand each and a suitcase full of magical ingredients. She also gave them a magic mirror. From then on, the king and queen used their wands to protect Princess Polly from clouds that got too big or too dark whenever they spotted them coming. When they were unsure about which spells to use, they used the magic mirror to talk to Fairy Willow Shimmer, who helped them find new mixtures of ingredients. Princess Polly found this worked much better. She still got little clouds sometimes, but usually they weren't so big or so dark, and they didn't hang around for as long. She's much happier now and spends her time thinking about the next fairy ball instead. The end.